Hey, welcome back to the channel. Boy, we have got a big old saw to talk to you about today. So first off, let me give you the backstory. So we had our buddy come out and cut this big tree down. It is, it was 42 inches at the base. I don't have a saw big enough to cut this down. And we've got quite a few more trees like this to cut and we have a sawmill. So we're gonna be over the next few years, we're gonna periodically be needing to cut up big trees like this. So I got to looking around for pricing of uh, big chainsaws, like in the 90 cc's with 36 inch bars. And I realized that, you know, we're not pros. We're not gonna do this every day. And we come across the, you know, this brand called Neotech. And Neotech is, uh, it, it's, they call themselves a pro level saw. And I will say that the saw is pretty well built. I, I it's the, the bar, is solid, uh, it's a solid bar, it's a 92cc chainsaw. First impressions, looking at it, cranks right up first, you know, when I put fuel in it, first impression is really good. So what really led us to the Neotech was the fact that in the professional saws in this size, like if, if you go look at the, uh, like the, the big name brands, to get a 36 inch bar and a chainsaw, you're looking at somewhere between uh, $1,500 and $2,000. And it's like, that's just, you know, for us not being pros, but just periodically needing a big chainsaw, uh, that's just not realistic. So we looked at all the big brands and again, they're just, you know, really priced out of a range. So we came across the Neotech and I'll just say this, cause I, I'm not gonna put a price in there cause price is very up and down. I'll leave a link to this saw in the comment section or being the, the description section of this video because uh, the prices are gonna change. But I will say this, it's about one third the price of a like a big name brand saw. I will say this, it's still not super cheap. It's not a cheap saw uh, by any means. It's still, still a chunk of change, but I think we can justify the price. So there's nothing really uh, exceptionally different from this China chainsaw from the smallest to the biggest. They all pretty much operate the same other than that this has a lot more power, uh, considerably amount more power than our, our biggest saw that we have now. We have a 59cc, this is a 92cc. Uh, and it, boy, it's, it, it, it runs well and it starts well. I think it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So a little less more, a little less talking and I really need to cut this big tree up because uh, we're gonna carry this off in pieces, maybe to the sawmill and have these big pieces cut up. There's a lightning strike down the side, but I think there's some good wood still inside these logs.
That is probably the biggest chainsaw I've ever run in my life. No, you know, about the biggest I've ever run before that was about a 70 cc. And uh, that was one big log. What'd you say? I can't hear you. One big log. That is a massive log, uh, and that made light work of it. Now, this is a this is not the chain, this is an organ skip tooth, uh, 25 degree 3 8 chain, 114 tooth. 0 0.063, 0 0.063 thickness of the of the link. So this is what I put on it. Um, I've got a not uh, another blade coming in, another chain coming in that's not skip tooth, and it's a 30 degree full chisel. This is a 25 degree full chisel. So I don't know how. Uh, wow, this thing pulls some freaking chips. I'll tell you that. Look at that. That's, that is some, that's like a wood chipper. First impressions, it's built well. It feels balanced, you know, as balanced as you can with a 36 inch bar. It feels good. It feels like it's supposed to. Um, now I only have to do about 25 more cuts and then we'll, I don't even know if we have a tractor big enough to pick this up. I don't know if Big Red will pick that up or not. That's probably, that's a nine foot long log and it is, uh, I think 42 inches on that end. I'm gonna have to guess. I can't even get to it over here. It looks to be in the 30s, like 34, 35 inches right here. Maybe, yeah, it's probably, it's really hard to tell. I can't tell later. solid that's only seven inches maybe a little further ten first impressions this is a beast of a saw uh, it ripped right, right through this old growth poplar like it was nothing um, don't see anything that I don't particularly like right off the top of the bat uh, I'm going to show this on the channel quite a few more times, obviously, throughout the year. Uh, and we'll give you a, a more in-depth, long-term review on it later on. But again, first first impressions, it's a good buy for a homesteader that needs to cut down some big trees. And who knows, it may be a, it may be a long-term pro saw. It's got some power, I know that. Hey, I appreciate you watching our channel. And we appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel. God bless and have a great day. Mm -hmm.